Hey, <laughs> here. Welcome back to Heavy Rain. No, I didn't mean for the last part to end so quickly. In fact, I didn't mean for it to end at all until I ended the game. But my power kind of sort of made me win. So, the stream got cut short. So, I'm back here. Yep. And we're going to finish this off. And hopefully, not cry. <laughs> Thank you, Jay, for watching. Alright. Now we'll see what chapter we're on. I have no clue what chapter I'm on. But, here we go, kids. Hey, Corey, hey! Mm. Oh. Shucks, you guys do too much. That train just got done passing by. Alright. <laughs> Let's get to it. So if... If you um, haven't seen, we find out who the killer was. Or is. I'm eating tuna. I shouldn't be on for too long, I don't think. Aww. <laughs> I'll pick the lock to everyone's heart if I have to. Aww. <laughs> God. <laughs> Tori is flattering me. Keep going. I've turned it upside down. <laughs> There's enough room in my heart for everyone. This is not, this, this is all the stream's gonna be is me trying to pick this lock. <laughs> I don't think my controller's picking up. <laughs> Never give in. holding it. <laughs> like, I'm sitting it on my stool. We 
you ain't never get past this part. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. Look out! You obviously haven't seen Ethan Corey. Ethan's thick. He used to be a cop. Probably knew exactly how an investigation would be carried out. <laughs> Take the gun. Um. <laughs> yes. That's exactly. Ethan, that's the only thing you need to know. Ethan is Patty. Um. A cop's uniform. Always dressed a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Um. So, what's happened is you start out as Ethan. He's a father of two. And then uh, your son gets killed and, and gets ran over by a car. You do too. Um, then, flash forward two years later, there's someone called the Origami Killer. I didn't kill my son. Just because I said I wanted him to die doesn't mean anything. How could I push him? He was running towards me. This is where he cultivated the orchids that he left on the chest of his victims. Yeah. Sean Mars. The lunatic's been watching him drown. It's some kind of a well filling up with rain. Slowly drowning no. him. There's not much time left. There, there, there must be something here. Show it. Shit, it needs a password. John or Rain. Shepherd. Max. 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 Got it. Max. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Hurry, there's no time to lose. <gasps> so you found my little secret? It's over, I Scott. trusted him. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. <laughs> no, 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 
no, no, no, no. Yeah. He's the origami killer. Um, he was one. He was my favorite character. I thought I could trust. Rainbow Six, we like. Destroying evidence that he was the origami killer. Oh. Jeez, I don't. Ah uh, yes, roll the fire even more.
<laughs> oh yes, it's a bit warm up here. I have no clue. Interactive gameplay, I can smell the smoke from here. I know where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. I know where Sean nope. is. <laughs> Wrong I've person. got to tell Ethan. Where Sean Mars is. I've got to call that FBI guy Jaden. He's the only one I can trust. He'll be able to save him. <laughs> I won't call Ethan. Screw it. I know where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. Confirm. It's not, it is nice. Like, I, whenever you get the time core, you should play it. If only it was multiplayer. Where's the fire department? <laughs> I killed him, didn't I? to save Gabe or kill him one.
Hang on, kid. I'll get you out of there. I show you. I got him. Yeah, bro. calm down. I've got you. The deal. Shit, he's not breathing. He's not breathing. CPR. Ooh, that hurts. Dude, this man has survived bullets, let me tell you. What? I was... <laughs> Expert tactics using your thumbs. He was a very nice character before I found out he was the killer. Then I got really sad. <laughs> this is why I have trust issues. <laughs> I fell in love with a killer again. What is she going to do up here? Is my question. Oh no, he didn't say no homo. <sighs> oh, you're okay, Sean. You're okay. You're safe now. You're safe. I didn't like this character. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> Hell in the cell. Dude, this guy has been shot multiple times already. Can I shoot him again? One more time.
So graceful. That was such a graceful fall. 69 comments, people. Nice. was made possible only by the bravery and tenacity of Norman Jaden, an FBI profiler brought in to help local police. State-of-the-art technology and his own investigator's flair allowed him to track down the killer. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. He turned the boy gay. Oh my god. Ethan, this is the thick this is daddy Ethan. Ethan's such a man. You're free to go. Sean has been waiting to see you for weeks. I thought you might like him to be here as soon as you got out. No. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Promise you'll never leave me again, Dad. I promise, son. I never will again. He goes outside the police station, Sean gets hit by a police car. That's how the story ends, guys. Our next guest is rumored to be about to receive a Pulitzer Prize for her remarkable series of investigative articles about the origami killer case. Showing incredible courage, her daring intervention led to the arrest of the country's most wanted criminal and saved the life of a little boy. This evening, I welcome a woman who might well be the true definition of a heroine for the ages, Madison Payne. Good evening. Thank you for talking with us. Now, you've been described as being both determined and tenacious. Two qualities, no doubt, that were needed to see you through the dark hours of this unbelievable story. Were you afraid at any time? Yes, all the time. Every waking day. Heavy rain. Chocolate rain. Chocolate rain. You want? She's been smoking doobies, bro. Thank you. Uh, for John, please. For John. We need more journalists like you, Miss Page. Aww. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Oh, this is so wholesome, now. Turns out she's actually That's the origami Vincent. killer. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve a better adversary. Somebody more ferocious. <sighs> oh no. Please don't tell me there's another one. Our guest today is on the cover of today's World Magazine this week and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer and saved the life of young Sean Mars. 
His determination, courage, and intelligence have won I don't know, Corey. Norman Jaden. Good. This guy has a cocaine addiction. No, does he die? Don't die on me. No. Put it down. Do I ha can should I be the bad guy? Can't choose. Crop shot. What a man. <laughs> Girl game repeat. He's not crazy, I swear he is. Something's not right. This isn't good. No, no, no. Bad. This is very bad. Trippin' balls, ma'am. You killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? <sighs> I don't know, Corey. I don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. Nothing. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. I think it's a show of what happened to everyone after um, the work on killer was found. <laughs> or Yami Killer Part 2 The Reawakening. I want to see them again. I'm a father too. Oh, that's a choice I made. Well, that was it. I finally completed it. Fast forward, please. 
Heavy rain. Yeah, it was heavy rain, I guess. That was a game. That was a game. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Can't take him back from all this. Start out. Yeah, agree. See, this should serve as a lesson to everyone. Be a good kid. Don't wander off. Or you die. I didn't kill him. You killed him. like a deer thing. <laughs> We're just gonna sit here and go through this. It has to eventually end. Thank <laughs> you. 
the credits are longer than the game itself. I'm just gonna go through all this, so. There's a hundred and four days of summer vacation. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. <laughs> How far will Agent you Norman Jaden, FBI. Good evening. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the Oregon case. I'd like a room. Nah, I can always wait for you, uh, Manson, page 27. Single. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Barr. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminal. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. You're gonna die, you son of a bitch! I swore on my son's grave that I would kill the man who murdered him. I just don't believe he's guilty. Your other son is a shepherd. What was his name? Everything I did, I did for love. I was going to go through all the extras. Go ahead, take a seat. Can you give me your name and your age, please? My name is Mary Smith. I'm 24. Have you ever taken any acting lessons, Mary? Not really. I couldn't afford it, but I watch a lot of films and I learn so much by watching them. Have you shot anything? The next recently? comment uh, gets a big I had a few bit parts, little things here and there. Nothing very serious for the moment. I'm always too tall, too short, wrong hair. <laughs> There's always something wrong with me. <laughs> okay. Have you learned your lines? Yes. Let's get started. Mark it, please. Downstairs, heavy rain. Back to Mary Smith. Take one. And action. <laughs> the first time I saw you, I knew you were the one. I thought these things only happened in the movies, you know? Pounding heart, the sweaty hands, and the shaky legs. <laughs> I was coming out of the theater, and it started pouring heavy rain, so there I was, soaking wet, teeth chattering, freezing cold, and then you came up to me. You looked at me straight in the eyes and you said, Need an umbrella, miss? You sent me flowers for weeks and you said you'd love me forever. Three months later, we were getting married. God, it sounds so stupid. It's such a corny romance. But real life, it never ends up being what you think it's going to be. You think it's going to be one big happy fairy tale. And then one day you wake up in an average little house, leading an average little life, and your real dreams are about paying the bills and maybe someday getting a bigger TV. And you realize that maybe that wasn't the life you were dreaming of. You realize maybe things could have been wow, different. I didn't realize this was going to be and really maybe I actually could have lived with all of that, but then one day it all just stops. Starts with something small. A little lipstick on a collar. A few nights when you come home a bit late. 
At first I tell myself that I'm crazy, that you would never do such a thing. But just to ease my mind, one night I follow you as you leave the office. I follow you to the CD hotel where you meet the girl. And then my whole world falls apart. Laptar always looks home, so judgmental. And I cry for hours in my kitchen. I get the gun from the drawer in the bedroom. God, what the fuck? And I tell myself that if this is all that life has to offer me, then I can do without. Um. Um. But then I change my mind. After all, I'm not the one who's cheating. So, quietly, I wait for you to come home, sitting in my average little kitchen. Obviously, when you get home, you don't suspect I don't know a thing. Be so short. I press I the fucking gun against your forehead, and I take a few seconds to watch the fear grow in your eyes. You tell me like every age she won't do it. She doesn't have the guts. She's just trying to teach me a lesson. But you are so wrong, honey. Sentence you to death for turning my life into a soap opera cliche. For stepping on my dreams. For not giving a shit about me all those years. And for lying to me and betraying Jesus me Christ. and humiliating me. I'm making an example out of you. For all the assholes out there who can make you keep on fucking us over and over. Goodbye, my love. So, how was it? Uh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> very, you think very. I might stand a chance? <laughs> Someone would get in touch with you and let you know. I'd pissed my pants. She wasn't too bad, huh? Doesn't matter, she's too tall for the part. Free to make her forever. Heavy rain. Virtual actor demo.
Yeah. Hey, Aww. take it easy. You're gonna knock me over. That's when they were alive. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Hmm, ten years old. That's not exactly grown up, but you're getting there. So could you just give me a name for the camera? Uh, my name is Pascal Langer. Uh, what is the text that was given to you? I have uh, Norman Jaden and Ethan as well. Sean may be dead in a few hours. One who wants to test me. If he wants to punish me for Jason's death, I... see, I, I'm I'm the one who, who, should, who should have died. I, I I wanted to save him. I would have done anything to give my my, my life for his but I, I couldn't. <laughs> not, not a day goes by that I, I don't see his face. Now Sean has got nothing to do with that. Not nor do. Any of the other children? I, this has to stop. You've got to hand yourself into the police. Look, if, if I hand myself into the police, I lose all chances of finding Sean. They'll question me, but but I won't be able to tell them anything because I don't know anything. I don't know what happened. Ethan, you may have killed those children. You don't know what you're capable of. You must end yourself no, in. I have to save Sean at all costs. He may be a, a prisoner somewhere, and I'm the only one who knows where. If I have to I face up to all these once I get through to myself this, that I got my son, then I'll do it. Stream and start crazy, you have to call call in. I'll hand myself into the police when I have found there. Sean. Now, don't promise me you, you won't inform on me until I have found my son. Recent report indicates that the police are now treating this as another kidnapping. Hello there, Time sweetheart. What's going to do for you? I'd like a room. For, for you? Anything. Hmm. That's for sure. Um, I'm 25. Mm -hmm. I've been modeling for five years. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't mean to get into modeling at all. I was scouted on the street. I was shopping with my mum. The last time I saw him, he was watching a convoy of trucks going by. I was about 50 yards away. And he suddenly turned and looked at me. Locked on my eyes. And I didn't realise what was happening straight away. I heard cries from behind me. Everyone started running in slow motion. I just remained motionless, locked on his gaze. I hadn't noticed the detonator in his hand. <laughs> Your vast experience what? hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. <laughs> Fucking asshole! Blake? If you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. Yeah, Leon can then. Can you tell me a bit about what you've done recently? Um, the last thing I did, I did a thing called Richard the Lionheart for the BBC. Cora confessed. <laughs> you beat him all night to make him talk. He would have confessed to Kennedy's assassination if you asked him. Your confession is a heap of shit. <laughs> Cora is not... The origami killer. Origami. He's a sick child killer, but he has nothing to do with the disappearance of Sean Mars. We have lost time for nothing, and all this time that continues to, and all that time it continues to rain. According to the weather forecast, we've got less than 12 hours before we reach seven inches of rainfall, and we haven't the remotest idea where Sean Mars is. I bought 10 minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. So, this is where you work? Disappointed? No, it, it's just very different from, from what I imagined. How do you become a private eye? Private eye? Well, I was a cop for 20 years, and one fine day my wife decided to run off with me. You know, so... <laughs> you... You should see all the faces of the husbands when they first discover that I know that they have a mistress. It's like a little kid, their hand caught in a cookie jar. You know, I I can trip in my salary. You know, if I accepted everything they promised me, just to keep quiet.
now. The time is. Oh, I thought it was the heat. I'm about painting. In this stream, let's start a new one. So, uh, let's see, kids, uh, later, alligators.